All right, guys. Um, welcome back to the Sinking City series. Um, right now we're supposed to just go to this basement and do some exterminating. Uh, let me go ahead and get all my guns ready. Um, um, I think we should be able to craft some. Yeah, we could craft that. Some more. We have plenty of this. We have tw twelve. So ten. Okay, that should be enough. Um, and I don't really need to top off on my help, but just in case I have three med kits, so why not go ahead and use it? All right, there you go. The door won't budge. All right, so I'm pretty sure this should be the basement door. There you go. What the hell is that right there? Oh shit. Can I hop over? Oh, I don't think they they can hop over. There you go. That's one. Damn, there's a lot of them over here. That's like four of them. There we go. And the other big one is right here. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, shit. I think those hallucination things come on your screen whenever um, your insanity goes up. Okay, first aid kit, nice. What kind of person would even touch this? Not to mention dissect it. Yeah, it's because my insanity level is going. <laughs> I'm glad this thing is dead. Why do they even keep it here? Oh, sh Some serious equipment they've got here. Oakmont University is clearly well funded. I wonder what would happen if I press this button. So very tempting. All right, nice gunpowder. I should be able to craft some more ammo from that, but right now I don't. I don't think I need that. Um, so let's go ahead, hopefully. There's something else I'm missing. Alright, you know what? I don't think there's anything we're missing down here. Um, the main point of even coming down here was to get rid of those things down here. So, let's go back up and talk to this guy right here. Your 
Your lab is certified creature-free. Excellent, Mr. Reed. You've done us a great favor. Now we can get things up and running again. Okay. I've done my part. Here's the bottle. Now you run those tests. Uh, yes. Wait here. It shouldn't take long. We finished that analysis, sir. It's, well, it's ricin. Ricin? A highly toxic poison extracted from castor beans. It's slow-acting, but absolutely fatal to humans. So, where do you get ricin? This isn't something you can pick up from a drugstore. Ah, uh, about that. It is rare, but we have a certain amount of it here. For study, in our poison store. Or we did. I'm afraid that must be where it came from. The label had been tampered with, but it certainly looks like ours. Where did you find it? Ah, crime scene. Someone was trying to poison a bunch of fish with it. This is horrible. I need to warn everyone in the university about this. How can you tell if someone's been poisoned with ricin? The symptoms take several days to develop. At first, it's like a common cold. But over several days, well, it develops into hemorrhage, internal organ failure, and death. Oh, damn. It's not a pleasant way to die. That does not sound like a pleasant way at all. Who's got access to where the poison's stored? Only Professor Westerbrook has the key. His office is upstairs, right alongside Professor Cavendish's. Professor Westerbrook's not here, though. He's been sick for the last few days. Professor Cavendish is away as well, on vacation. And where do they live? I'm not sure, but probably somewhere in Advent. Most of the teaching staff live there. Wait, you don't think it was one of them? I'm working on that. Can you let me upstairs? I... well... All right. This is serious. I'll help you. Here's the key, but please don't disturb the professor's things. I'd like to know a bit more about your professors. What do you want to know? I want to know more about Westerbrook. He's the head of our department. He's been here for, well, at least 30 years. He's one of the longest serving staff we have. As you've already seen, he's particularly interested in the wild beast that recently appeared in our city. Yeah, that's quite the unique fauna you have there. I've no idea how he did it. But Mr. Throgmorton's men brought him live specimens for his research. He thinks he's on the verge of a breakthrough in evolutionary theory. A secret that once revealed will benefit all humankind. <sighs> Some secret should stay buried. Six feet under. You're not a man of science, are you? It's not about why. It's about what if. What can you tell me about Professor Cavendish? He's one of the most brilliant teachers we have here. A PhD at only 25. Just imagine. His biochemistry studies are second to none. Worthy of a Nobel Prize. If he could complete his work. What's his problem? I don't know. There's some kind of family trouble. It's made him standoffish and irritable. And easily distracted. I hope he gets through whatever he's going through. We need his talent, especially in these dark times. I'll see you later. Alright, so that was a long ass chat. Um new mind palace evidence. So let's go ahead and check that out. Um let's see if we could connect some dots right here. Oh no. Yeah, nothing right there can be connected, so. Get my sh my gun ready. Just in case anything pops out on my ass.
note from Professor Westbrook. This is absurd. It's been five months. They still haven't finished repairing my office. Mm. What's this? Authorized personnel only. There you go. These bottles look exactly the same as the one with the poison. Okay, there's something in here. Oh, shit. Yeah, they're all pointing to this door, so... All evidence collected, that's good. All right. There you go, the poison thief. So let's see what this said. We got some new evidence. Okay. George Cavendish, a professor at Oakmont University, is the poison thief. He made himself a copy of the key to the poison locker, according to his student. He lives somewhere in Advent. Mm. All right, let's talk to this guy. Can you fill me in on Ryson again? Of course. What do you need to know? There's some kind of cure for ricin? I'm afraid not. Once it's in your system, it's a death sentence. Uh, so... I'll see you later. I'd like to know a bit more about your professors. What do you want to know? Yeah, I already... I already I'll see you later. Asked all those questions already, so... Mm, Advent, um, the poison thief. So we're gonna have to go to the archives. Poison thief, oh man. Yeah, we're gonna have to go s somewhere in Advent. Okay. In Advent, he lives in Advent, so. Oakmont City Hall, Oakmont University Library. I think we're gonna have to go there. Yeah, we're gonna have to go to the University Library. Because the clue so far, it just says, um, he lives somewhere in Advent, that's it. Um, to all staff and students of the University of Auckland, mentioned of everyone's obvious duty. Pass a member. It would be beliefs are forbidden on the university grounds on pain of dismissal and or expulsion. Okay, so we only have this so far. So... Looks like we're going to live somewhere in Advent. Yeah, I think we just have to go to the university library. That's my best guess. 
sorry I guys the university library is all the way the university library is all the way over here so I'll just um transition to whenever I get over there yes yes I haven't got all day what do you want uh just wanted to say hi I'm new in town oh how nice for you if you need to look anything up in our archives, get in line like everybody else. Get in line? I'm the only one here. Huh. I guess that means I'm first then. So, I can just go look up what I need. Don't sass me, young man. Next time there could be a line here, and you'll get no special treatment. Bye. <laughs> That lady was being such an asshole. Um, whatever, but. What was that sound? But, anyways, guys, um, I had to come all the way over here to Oatman City Hall. I tried the library, but there was nothing I could have done um, at the library in terms of research. So, I just came over here to check. If there's anything else I could find on this guy. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Alright, so um, we finally figured out, found the, um, the information on this Cavendish guy. Um, did we get his address? Place of resident, Oakmont Mass Advent. Yeah, Central. Okay, yeah, we did get his address. So that's good. Alright, now let's... Go ahead and figure out where this guy lives. Place on map. So he lives Advent Central on St. Michael's Road. So St. Michael's Road here between uh between Carpenter Street and Constitution Street. Wait. Okay, so St. Michael's Road between Carpenter Street and Constitution Street. So he should live somewhere around here, I guess. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Are we even far from it? Now, I was going to fast travel, but I guess I don't need to. Opposite direction. Yeah, I always like try to fast travel as much as I can in this game because walking on foot like takes a really long time sometimes. Like even in this city, it like the map makes makes it look like it's just right there, but it's actually a decent walk away. Even though this game is like scary, but for some reason it's always raining. It's raining like 24 7s in this game. I guess it makes it more of like a horror movie. Uh, not a horror movie, I said horror movie. I can't believe I said horror movie. A horror, horror game. Yeah, so. We're pretty much almost there. I think he lives. Yes, yeah, somewhere on the street between Constitution and. Okay. So. I think maybe this is a house. This might be the house right here. Okay, there we go. Get my shit reloaded. In 
case anything jumps out at my ass. If you want it, take it. It's free. There you go. Judging by the layer of dust on it, this ring hasn't been worn in a long time. So why keep it around? Cavendish guy did an impressive investigation, and the EOD is in the center of all of it. This Cavendish guy did an impressive investigation, and the EOD is in the center of all of it. Alright, so we pretty much got everything inside this room. Let me go ahead and check if there's anything I might be missing. Oh, there's a door right here. loved you a lot of fancy dresses locked away in a dark corner for a long time I'm starting to smell some deep family trauma here you will never understand our cause my child is blessed by the sea I'm leaving you George George, I can't live like this anymore. There's something I have to tell you. I don't care what your damn EOD cult demands, Anna! I thought the child was mine. Mine! <laughs> I guess okay. you thought wrong, sir. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> Alright, so I think this might be George? the first one. I can't live like I don't care what then your that. damn EO You will never understand our cause. My child is Hopefully blessed that's by right. the sea. I'm leaving you, George. George there we Cavendish. Go. He had a wife named Anna. She had a baby that was not his, but blessed by the sea and claimed by the EOD. This caused their split. you well what are you doing here calm down my name's Charles Reed I'm a private investigator right now you look like someone who's breaking into my house a, a, a burglar I explain yourself no Cavendish time for you to do some explaining care to tell me why you poisoned the fish at the EOD warehouse and you better not lie to me. Oh, sorry. Is this making you angry? <laughs> yeah, two can play at that game. And believe me, I've got plenty of anger for the both of us. How dare you? I'm only going to ask politely once. Then my gun will do the talking. Fine. Fine. Yes, 
It was me. But I had a good reason to do it. It all comes back to Anna. Oh, this should be fun. What's your good reason for poisoning innocent people? You know the EOD are feeding the hungry, don't you? No. Oh, that's exactly the problem. They're not doing it out of charity. They do it to spread their influence and recruit new members. Some of those initiates, as they call them, vanish without a trace. And not just them. They kidnap ordinary folks, too. And poisoning the fish would prevent this how? Oh, you see, not everyone in this city believes in the EOD yet. They have opposition among the citizens, both rich and poor. A rumor of the EOD's fish being poisonous and several incidents would be enough to undermine the EOD by sparking fear and mistrust. What's Anna got to do with all this? As you might have already gleaned, she is... was... my wife. Uh-huh. Yeah, it all starts to come together now. The EOD robbed me of her. It all started with the free fish. We were all short on food at the time, and then they hooked her with their nonsense about the benevolent sea and greater good. I looked past it for some time, but then... She became pregnant. Yes. At first, I was over the moon. But then one day she came to me, that snake, and told me that the child was not mine. She said it was blessed by the sea, that it was demanded by the EOD. Doom take them! I couldn't stand it. I just couldn't. There must be another way to deal with the EOD. Like, if their crimes are that obvious, why don't you just go to the police? <sighs> They're resourceful, those sons of hagfish. They maintain a squeaky clean image, and Kay, they're good at it. I tried going to the police. They were no help at all. And I'm not suicidal enough to make it public and take them to court. What did she mean, blessed by the sea? What do you think is the cause of Innsmouth Syndrome in people? Uh... Living in Innsmouth? That K-forsaken place has nothing to do with it. It comes from breeding with monsters. These sea creatures they call Deep Ones. They take our women and they spoil them with their seed. Then they give birth to degenerate fish-faced offspring. Where did you learn all this? This information about the EOD? After Anna left, I had nothing. But I did have a lot of time to research Innsmouthers, the EOD, and the story behind them. It is an old and powerful organization. They appeared back in the mid-19th century in Innsmouth, and the first people with the Innsmouth Syndrome started showing up around that same time. Ah. Perhaps not coincidentally. No, of course not. And the EOD is immensely rich. The sudden rise to power of the Blackwood family happened right after they joined them. So what's your next move? I... was interrupted and couldn't finish my task. The EOD received a fresh haul of fish, but now they're on alert and raised their guard. I understand I'm in no position to ask. But after reviewing all the facts I've presented to you, Mr. Reed, would you agree to help me? You're a madman, Cavendish. You're willing to let innocent people suffer and die just to get revenge on your ex-wife. No, this madness has to stop. And I'm gonna put an end to it right now. Oh, no, no. You, you don't understand. <laughs> yeah, I just had to kill this guy. This guy was a psychopath. Killing innocent people just because of his ex-wife. Uh, that's not justified, you know. Um, anyways, um... I think that's everything I can...
hand to lift in this house. Yeah, there's nothing else. Uh, let's check out mine, mine palace and see what evidence. There we go. Uh, clues. There you go. I already killed them, so what then? George Cavendish is dead. I killed him. Now I must return to the fish market and speak with Anna about holding up her end of the bargain. So where's the fish market? Um... The fish market is, should be, yeah, it's all the way over here. No, that's not it. It's actually here. Here's a fish market. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like my videos, please remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you want. Um, when I come back, I'll definitely go ahead and, um, reach a fish market and do all the evidence and finish up with this case so peace out guys catch you in the next videos